Hello everyone, it's Jennifer and thank you for joining me today. I have a very, very, very special unboxing today. Haven't even peeked in here yet, but I do know that there are some new JJB products in this box and hopefully you'll be seeing them first here. And we have some fun faves. I love, oh my goodness, I love the Champagne Color Trends Mix. I don't know if you guys have seen my, I made a bunch of pieces using this Color Trends Mix. And I believe I mixed it with some rose gold with the silver and just so pretty. So um, check out my Instagram and I'll put a link to my Instagram page in the description and go check out some of the pictures that I have because I know that I posted some pictures using this Color Trends Mix and I love it. It's one of my faves. And every time I get, I see a Color Trends Mix, I always call it my favorite and told uh, Sarah James that I think the whole entire collection is my favorite because every time I uh, see a Color Trends mix, it's always my favorite. So let me get the rest of these out of here and get a little bit organized and I will come right back. We are back. First thing I wanna share with you are some of these heart-shaped pendants. I absolutely love these. And again, I used these for a uh, for a design challenge that uh, JJB sent me some beads and I did a bunch of creating and sent them back to them for the Tucson, for the Tucson show. And here is what I did with the um, with the rose gold heart is that I had three beads left from one of the pearl strands, and I just went ahead and grabbed some. I had some 26 or 24 gauge rose gold wire from Softlex Company, and I went ahead and just wrapped those three up. And didn't that turn out perfect? And then since it had some silver in it, I used some silver chain. I doubled up the uh, jump rings and made a necklace with that super pretty and had such a fun time designing with all the products that I was sent. And one day what I'll do is I will, I know that I shared a lot of what I made on my Instagram, like I mentioned before, but I'll see if I can do another little reveal when I uh, come across bead mixes that I've already made some stuff with. So that's what these are. and that gorgeous rose gold color. Okay, next we have one of my favorite color trends bead mixes, and this is Champagne. And I had such a good time designing with all of this and used every single bead and component in this mix because it is just incredible. For one thing, look at those satin tassels. Aren't those beautiful? Those are so pretty. And I think when I did my earrings, I think what I did was I did the tassel and I did these gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous cage beads. So pretty. And I think I might have used one of these chunk of monks on there. And that might have been exactly what I did. And then look at those, these are so pretty. Let me grab a, a little piece of wire here. I mean, look how gorgeous those are. So pretty. I love the faceted chunky rondelles. And then we have some, look how it's etched. So we have a little bit of frost in there. Then we have some little tiny rondelles. I mean, not inky dinky, but they're tiny and then these frosted rondelles here. And then you cannot have a Jesse James bead mix without some killer, killer bead caps. And then we have some uh, crystal beads. I know that there's a hole for them to go into. There we are there. And then my favorite, 
the cubes. I love the cubes. And I, when I make, so when I make my earrings with the cubes, because I love the cube beads, and I think I do the same thing every time with them, is I always do something like this. I'll do something like that. And then just make a quick and easy pair of earrings. You can mix it up. Oh, it's the same bead. You can mix it up with having a little bit of frost. You can mix it up and have one of the big chunky frosts. Just so pretty. There's so many things to do with that. And again, I know that I will use every single bead in this mix. Also too, what I've done before, I'm gonna take those, um, these off to the side here and I'm gonna show you a little something that I did with them before is I, uh, I I do love the bright silver, but I was looking for gunmetal and I couldn't find gunmetal in this size in my stash. And so what I did was I just used some liver of sulfur, of sulfur and dipped them and they came out perfect, just perfect. And then I had that little kind of gunmetal-ish look. All right, so next we have I love their beads by the dozen. Have you checked out their beads by the dozen yet? I have a few packages here. Look at that gorgeous sapphire, or stratosphere. This is stratosphere blue. Aren't those so pretty? Let me put them in my hand. Maybe they won't glare that as much. So pretty. I love those. And then we also have some neon pink beads by the dozen. Look how pretty those are. Frosted beads, just gorgeous. And then we have some feeling crabby. We have some feeling crabby and look, they have little crabs on them. Aren't those just so cute? And I like the size of the hole because if you want to use some elasticity or um, if you want, yeah, if you want to use some elasticity, you can very easily get yourself either the 0.8 or the one millimeter through there to make a stretch bracelet. That is cute, but I like that with the pink. That's so pretty. So I'm just gonna put them all back in one. So those are the beads by the dozen. They have Jesse James beads. Their website has so many to choose from. Here are the two bracelets that I made off camera using the Stratosphere beads by the dozen and the Krabby beads. Now let's get back to the unboxing. Then we also have, I love enamel dangle chain. This is gorgeous. And then we have this very, very peri purple. And we used this in maybe summer camp last year, maybe summer camp last year. I um, can't remember who did the, um, it might've been Wendy that had, that used this for their, um, for their project. I can't remember, but I just absolutely love this. I've uh, used this before and just made, um, just right out of the gate, make up a, um, an anklet and it's so pretty and you can stack it with um, just a, like a smaller bead or even a chain, another chain, uh, anklet and just very very cute very cute you can use this um if you want to make like an a, 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 a symmetrical necklace where you have um maybe you could have this up one side and i'm going to bring in the heart chain in silver and then maybe have the heart chain going up this side and make something um, symmetrical, maybe have some beads um, strung here. So many things to do, so many things to do with these. You can take them apart. So these are uh, linked on, so they're not linked directly onto the chain. There's a separate link here. So if you want to just use this as a chain and take off the dangles, you can do that as well. So I think we're gonna do something a little outside the box. And I think I might've just given myself an idea. And I do wanna point out this heart chain. I love this heart chain. I have this in gunmetal, in silver, in gold. 
absolutely gorgeous. And I feel like I saw that they have this available in rose gold as well. So pretty, just wonderful chain to have in your stash um, for quick gift ideas. Those that comes in very handy. Here's another beaded chain. And if you have seen this before, it's because you are a subscriber to the Jesse James Beads Magical Mystery Bead Box and you saw this in Bohemian Nights. This was, wow, I can't remember what month it was, but it was, might have been a year ago or so. And just a gorgeous, gorgeous chain with these beautiful rondelles that are perfectly linked onto um, some spacers and there's a lot you can do with this as well. All right, so let's go ahead and get this put away because you wanna see the new stuff, don't ya? So I do love me some blue. We, I'm in California. To me, this is a Golden State Warrior Blue. And I absolutely love it. This is the Honolulu Blue Color Classics Bead Strand. And there's so much you can do with these. I have taken these bead strands and literally just taking them off, strung them up, and there's my bracelet. And with some of these large hole beads or large hole spacers, and even the crystal spacers, when I am making a stretch bracelet, I will have my start end point at where a crystal rondelle spacer is, whether it's there, the big one, or one of the small ones, because it has a little bit of a dip into them and you can hide your knots in there. You can also hide your knots in these large hole beads here too. Incredible, I love this. And I love this color, so pretty. And we might just do that. We might just um, make this up as a stretch bracelet so I could show you how easy it is to take they take the design element out of it if, if if that's what you wish to do, and I love it. Sometimes I just wanna have an easy project to make, and there's an easy project right there. Then I mentioned the pearl strand when I made this one here. Well, this one, this pearl strand is in peach pink and it is so gorgeous. This is the Pantone bead strand. And again, um, I had the orange sunburst and all I did was string it up and I had some toggle clasps from my metal clasp assortment from Jesse James Beads. And all I did was string it up and made a perfect bracelet. Again, that's all you have to do with these. You can very easily just string this up you can bring in some of your gold or silver um, a heart chain, and you can go ahead and just, you have yourself an easy, easy necklace. And this is so stunning with the rondelles, all the rondelle spacers, the beautiful Jesse James beads pearls, and there we have some more cube beads, we have some daisy spacers, and just oh, look at these little tiny guys here at the end. So gorgeous, so pretty, so pretty, so pretty. You could very easily move this daisy spacer in between those two beads here and have a gorgeous little dainty um, set of earrings. And you have them on this side too. So I might do that. We'll see. I will start out a video thinking this is what I'm gonna do. And yes, I end up having to write little notes saying, ah, this isn't what I'm gonna do, so hang tight. All right, so now we have another Pantone bead strand, and this is Blue Perennial. And what I love about this Blue Perennial is look at all the different shades of blue. And again, we have the same type of um, structure here where you could very easily take that daisy spacer, add it up here, um, throw on a beetle-on head pin and one of the beetle-on ear wires and you have yourself a, a, you have yourself an easy quick pair of earrings. Gorgeous, I love these. And again, you can just very easily string it up, add maybe a magnetic clasp and, um, 
and call it a day because Jesse James beads, they do have the crystal embedded uh, magnetic clasps and that would go perfectly with this. So gorgeous. Now we are going to bring in some of the new items. I have three new items. Uh, at this time right now, it's not available on the website, but by the time this video is shared, it will be available on the website. And the first thing I am going to show you is the Mega Bead Mix in Mermaid Grotto. And it is absolutely stunning. This is the first I've seen it, and I already see we have some starfish, we have some uh, square beads. I'm see ooh, that is pretty. Okay, so we are going to open this up, and it is taped up because I have my eye on a bead that I'm already seeing, that I'm already in love with, and it's this guy right here. And where's my wire? Let's find my wire. Okay, I found a different piece of wire, but look at that. I hope it's coming across. That is absolutely stunning, stunning. I don't know if these guys are gonna make it into a project because I just wanna keep them forever. That is so beautiful. Mm. Love it. We have some mermaid fins or tails, I should say. We have some mermaid tails there, two different sizes. This would probably be a really good stacking project right there. That'd be really pretty. We have, ooh, we have some awesome beads here. I love these. I think we had some in the Treasure Trove Magical Mystery Bee Box. And gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Cannot wait to use these. So beautiful. Look at those. Mm. Loving it. I mentioned the starfish beads. We also have some starfish charms. And what else do we have? Let's just go ahead and pick this out. And oh, we have, oh my goodness, we have several. Yay, we have at least six. Those are those first ones that I showed you. Those are beautiful. A gnat flying around, okay. All right, then we have some of these gorgeous little speckle beads. Oh, we have, it looks like we have four of those. So we have some little speckle beads. Some more charms. We have more starfish. Let's see what else we have. Oh, we have the seahorse. We have a couple of those. Gorgeous. Then we have, these are absolutely stunning. Very large holes. So if you're gonna do something with some stretch cord, you're going to be able to pass that through and hide a knot. Also, too, um, let's see. And yes, I have some silver silk right here. It's not the right color, but let's see if we can pass some through. We can. We can pass some silver silk through those. Let's see if we can pass them through here, too. Awesome. Look at that. That is amazing. I love those. I love when we can have some large hole beads in there. That's Capture Chain from Silver Silk and More, and Jesse James Beads has some on their website as well. So we have several of these metal components here. Oh my goodness, look at these. Those are so pretty, and I'm sure everybody's is gonna be different. Look at those. Those are stunning. We have four of them gorgeous oh, and who doesn't love some sparkle that is so pretty here's some sparkle oh those are so pretty I love those 
They're nice and chunky. We have some faceted beads. We have some faceted beads here. We have some hearts. Oh my goodness, look at those. And they're center drilled. Look at that, center drilled hearts. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. We have a couple of those. Those I'm saving for last, these two, because that's my favorite right there. Okay, so we have more of those metal beads here. My hands are all in the way. We have more of those, tons of them. We have some teardrop beads in that gorgeous blue. So we have some of those. We have some of these square beads that are faceted. So pretty. And look at these. <coughs> look at those. Those are beautiful. I love these wood discs. They're so cute. Now, these are my favorite, favorite finish on these faceted beads. Look at that plating on there. It's so gorgeous. So we have a mint green, and then we have a darker mint green faceted. Those are barrel beads and a couple, and some rondelles. Stunning. I love this finish. This is the bead mix. And there's a reason why they call it the Mega Bead Mix. Look at all that you get. You get so much stuff. This is gonna be a treat to work with. A treat. And again, in a reusable container, easy to store. Next, we have the Shoreline Bead Mix. And let's check this out. Oh, we have these. I feel like I've seen these before. And they're just stunning. I love them. Oh, look at that. And so that is, where's it drilled? Oh, it's a charm. Look how pretty that is. And then, oh, I must have got the end of a, of a strand here. I love the finish on these beads. So pretty, look at those little tiny guys. Oh, I got the other end too. Let's go ahead and get that snipped off. Look how pretty those are. Those are stunning. And then we have some more of those they look like drop beads, but I think that they are, no, they're drop beads. They're drop beads, faceted. We have some pearls. Who doesn't love the JJB pearls? I love them. And it has, I mean, has a little bit of a, of a minty tinge to them, just a hint. And we have some bead caps, yay. We have some Pringle spacers and we have some rondelles. Oh my goodness. This is just full of goodies. We have we have some more faceted rounds. We have a lot of those barrel beads and then some of these other spacers. Let me see if I can grab one. We have some little tiny spacer beads. And again though, the hole is large enough that if you want to make a stretch bracelet, you can very easily hide your knot in there. Those are gorgeous. Oh, and look at these here too. Those are beautiful. The same color as those. Oh, I love it. This one here, again, is the Shoreline Bead Mix. And this again is just packed. You saw the little package. Don't let the little package fool you. There's a lot of goodies in here. All right. Then last, but surely not least, is another new, wow, there's a lot of those little spacer, oops, I must have made a hole in it. So I'm gonna go ahead and use one of these bags. So there was a reason why I put all of the beads by the dozen in one bag. 
so pretty. Oh, I love it. There you can easily see everything in there now. Beautiful. And this one here, again, is Shoreline. And last, but certainly not least, we have Poolside. This is absolutely beautiful. Look at that color. That mermaid color. This is in blue. And, oh, look at those. Those are so pretty. And we have some of these large hole. So if you want to use them in some silver silk. And you have some frosted rounds. You have some more daisy spacers. Oh, these are pretty. These are like rose, like roses. They are beautiful. And then look at the pop of mint. I love that. This is a gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous strand. And this one is one of their new ones too. I mean, you could see right through that one and it's just beautiful. And I love again, the daisy spacer. You could very easily make this into an earring. And then you have one on the other side and you can make your matching earring here. And then you could take this section here and string it up and add, um, maybe, maybe make, use some hemp cord and make a bracelet with some knots in between. That'd be really pretty. I think we're coming up with some good ideas already. So here are some of the new items that will be available on Jesse James Beads by the time this video is released. And look at all the other goodies I have to play with. And I cannot wait to share with you all the fun stuff that I make throughout this month using all these gorgeous beads and chains and components. So please do give this video a huge thumbs up if you like it and comment. I love to see what everybody has to say and subscribe. That is a way to assure that you will not miss out on any other videos um, using some of these gorgeous, gorgeous beads and components and chains. And until next time, have a good one.